Hey guys, so Miss Jocelyn just went down for another nap and just a little bit ago I filmed our five month update finally. Um, so this is going to be kind of a current slash November favorites and I haven't done one in so long and I'm filming us a little bit early to be real actual November favorites. Today's the 21st but since I haven't had time to film in so long and um, Thanksgiving is coming up next week already. I figured I better do it today or it's not going to happen. <laughs> so I am just going to go ahead and jump on in to these favorites, whatever you want to call it. All right. So first I'm going to start with body. Um, I've been really liking my Soap and Glory Righteous Butter and the hand food. Um, I like to keep in my purse and put on at work since I'm washing my hands a lot. And uh, I just love the smell of this. It just smells so good. And um, I thought before this had parabens in it, but I don't see parabens on it anymore. But that's good. And um, recently what I started doing is as soon as I dry off real quick after my shower, I'll put this on while my skin is just a little bit damp still. I'll put it on right away instead of waiting until after I do my face skincare and everything. Um, because it says to smooth on to damp skin. And I found that if you actually do that, it works better because it spreads out better. And I find that at the end of the day, my skin feels a little bit more moisturized still. So I've been really liking this and Soap and Glory has moved to Ulta and it's actually a little bit cheaper than it used to be. So that's a win-win. So I really love that it's available at Ulta now. Um, and I got this one online right before they were available in store. And so the body butter is now $15 and you get 10.1 ounces in this. So it's a decent size and not a terrible price. Um, and then something about the cold weather makes me just love like those pinks, like soft pinks as far as eyeshadow, blush. And so I've been loving my Naked 3 again. Um, you've all seen this, I'm sure, but I just love those colors. They're just my favorite. And my Tartlet, um, if, whenever I use this, I tend to stick with, again, those same kind of shades. Um, I'll use like those, this on the lid, which is Caregiver, um, and then Natural Beauty in the crease, Best Friend under the lower lash line, which is that kind of that purpley plum, and like Super Mom in the inner corner, and these are all mattes, which I also love. Um, if I do want to add a little shimmer, I'll use one from another palette, but I just really love those kind of shades, especially in the colder months for some reason. And which also brings me back to MAC Well Dressed. I've been using this quite a bit lately. Um, and I don't even know if I'm getting close to hitting pan. I've had this for quite a while. Um, but again, I love MAC Well Dressed. Um, it is a satin. Um, so it has like a tiny bit of a sheen, but not too much. Um, I can't do shimmery blushes, like I've said before, with my super oily skin and big pores. So, um, and that brings me to big pores. Um, I have had this probably too long, um, but I still have a little bit left. And it's the Benefit Professional. And um, with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, you kind of need a primer like that just to make sure it's not going to emphasize pores and everything with it being so matte and full coverage. And so I've been really liking just putting a little bit of this in the T-zone and then the Miracle Skin Transformer all over. And I've just been loving this combo as I'm wearing today along with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation which is another recent favorite I just went back to. I just love how quickly it gives you great coverage and it lasts all day. I forgot how much I liked this and it just works really well for oily skin. And yeah, so I just smooth it all over with my 
uh, Sedona Lace 480, buff it in. And if you need extra coverage on any little spots, you can kind of like stipple it. And it just covers really well and lasts, like I said. So um, that's just a really good combo. A while back, I had done, I think, a kind of a comparison of the Professional to the L'Oreal Pore Vanisher uh, Primer, which I did really like that one. But after a while, it kind of separated, and no matter how much you like shake it and stuff, it won't really like go back together. And I read reviews of people saying that some of theirs ha that happened like right away. And so I'm kind of afraid to buy it again and have that happen because it's not exactly the cheapest drugstore primer. It's like almost $20. And while the professional is expensive, um, as long as I don't use it every day, um, this doesn't like separate and get all gross. So I don't know. I'm kind of afraid of getting that one again. We'll see. Um, I guess I can kind of decide later when I run out of this one, but, um, yeah, I've had that for quite a while, probably expired. Actually, I'm positive it's expired, but it still works. <laughs> um, yeah, so I also need to be doing like a foundation drawer clean out, so I don't know if I should do a video of that. Um, it's kind of hard to, maybe I could do like a Instagram post or something um because you know how hard it's been for me to do videos lately but um yeah I'm pretty soon I'm gonna be trying the foundations from Unique um I have a friend that sells it and um she's been doing like November deals so I decided to try and it'll be partially a Christmas present because I'm broke um but I'm gonna try their liquid foundation and their powder foundation um, cause I always have, even though I typically wear a liquid foundation, I always have powder foundations on hand, like my cover fix, um, powder foundation just to like kind of set and add a little bit more coverage. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try those. Um, other than that, I pretty much had like no money to really try new things. So not that I was the great at doing reviews before, but I haven't really tried anything new lately really um so yeah I've also still been loving my L'Oreal Luminous Butterfly Mascara this is a drugstore favorite oh I'm just throwing everything this is a favorite for me um which it is kind of drying out so I really need to get a new one if I have this too too long and I wanted to try to add um forget what you add to it to supposed to like soften it up again either contact solution or eye drops I need to look it up and maybe try that because look I get a little more out of it so um yeah that is pretty much it for my recent favorites um yeah I've just been loving those pinks and all that good stuff, nice full coverage foundation. So yeah, anyways, I will see you guys later. I hope you're having a good day, a good week. Um, yeah, I wanna to try to get up some Christmas decorations today. So um, I better go and do that and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.